In this lecture, we will discuss the RLC series circuit. In RLC series circuit, a fundamental elements are resistor R, inductor L, and capacitor C are connected in series across a AC voltage supply. All these three elements are linear and passive in nature. Passive means that these elements are consuming energy rather than producing it. And uh, linear means these components have linear behavior between voltage and current. Since all these components are connected in series, so the current in each element is same. Let Vr is equal Ir is the voltage across resistor in which voltage and current are in phase. And uh, VL is equal IXL is the voltage across inductor where voltage leads the current by 90 degrees. And uh, VC is equal to IXC is the voltage across capacitor in which where the voltage lags current by 90 degrees. XL is the inductive reactance and XC is the capacitive reactance. Here is the phasor diagram for uh, the RLC series circuit, where uh, you can see here first that uh, the in case of resistor, voltage and current are in phase. And in case of inductor, the voltage leads the current by 90 degree and in case of capacitor you can see that the voltage lags the current by 90 degree and uh, this phase diagram where we take the current as a reference because in series circuit current in each element remains the same and uh, here you can see that the corresponding voltage uh, corresponding voltage vectors for each component are drawn in reference to this current vector. Uh, if uh, please note that, please note that we can't take simply the algebraic sum of the voltage voltages in our LC cell, but we need to take a vector sum because the voltage in phase with current in the resistor. So we draw the voltage for the resistor uh, exactly parallel to the reference current. And the voltage leads the current in case of inductor by 90 degree. So we, you can see that we have a 90 degree between the reference current and inductor voltage. And uh, the voltage uh, lags the current in the case of capacitor, so you can see we have a minus 90 degree between the capacitor voltage and the reference current. <clears throat> and uh, here you see a phasor diagram of RLC series circuit when the circuit is acting as an inductive circuit. It means that uh, VL is greater than VC, as you can see in this figure. And uh, uh, note, please note that if uh, VC is greater than VL, then the circuit will behave as capacitive circuit. So here we have in, uh, inductive circuit. As you see uh, that uh, current as a reference we have taken here and uh, two vectors uh, VL and uh, VC are opposite to each other. Uh, because uh, you can see here also that uh, voltage across the capacitor and voltage across the inductor are at 180 degree angles. So this means because they are opposite to each other. So that's the reason we have uh, VC in the downward direction and VL in the upward direction. So now by take by because we have to take the vector sum. So this is Vr and this component is 
in the case of inductive circuit VL minus VC. So our resultant from both VR plus this one, this one will get VL minus VC plus VR. So we can write uh, mathematically as V is equal VR square plus VL minus VC whole square under the root as the magnitude of the whole voltage across the circuit. So VR is equal IR, simply we put that, and VL is IXL. From here, you can uh, take the value, and VC is IXC, so put uh, that value here. So simply by because the current is uh, the same in all three elements, so we take the current outside, and now by simply divide this term, uh, divide the voltage by this term, so we get I is equal to V over this, where this whole term is Z, and Z is nothing but impedance. And this Z is the total actually opposition offered to the flow of current by the RLC circuit. And uh, this is the called impedance of the circuit. This phase in angle we can also derive, and that is by using the tan theta. And tan theta is equal VL minus VC or VR. And uh, by simply now putting the VL value and VC, we get theta is equal to 10 inverse XL minus XC or R. Now to check the frequency response of, uh, <clears throat> of the circuit, because XL is equal omega L and XC is equal 1 over omega C, and you see that XL is proportional to the omega frequency, and XC is inversely proportional to omega. So in the case when we have higher frequency, in that case, XL, you see, is uh, much greater than XC. And in that case, the RLC circuit will behave like RL circuit. And if we have a lower frequency, then in that case, XC will dominate. Now XC will be much greater than XL and uh, the RLC circuit will behave like RC circuit. So because in this phase diagram, you can see that XL are oppositely draw uh, against the XC. Now the case when XL equal to XC, so by simply putting XL is equal to omega L and XC one over omega C and uh, doing small uh, mathematics, you can see by replacing omega now by two by F, so we get F is equal to 1 over 2 by LC under the root. So this is nothing but the resonance frequency of the circuit at which we get maximum current flowing through the circuit. So in diagram, let's have a look now, the frequency response of the circuit that shows the magnitude of current as a function of omega. In graph, we see that the response starts at or near to the zero and reaches at maximum value at resonance frequency when exactly the current is uh, I maximum equal to IR. IR means uh, the current only passing through the resistor. And then uh, the response drops again as frequency increases. So at lower frequency, the case is that at lower frequency, the capacitor tends to dominate and the voltage lags the current. So you see I is equal to V over ZC, C representing the capacitor. And uh, at higher frequency, the in inductor tends to dominate and the voltage leads the current. So at, at its resonance frequency, the total impedance of RLC circuit is at its minimum. And uh, that's the reason we get a maximum current at this point. So because uh, this circuit is uh, only functions uh, on uh, resonance frequency, therefore it is also called an acceptor circuit because at resonance the impedance of the circuit is at its minimum. So it easily accepts the current whose frequency is equal to the resonance frequency. So that's all for the today's lecture. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.
and uh, share with your friends.